Hello and welcome to the answer series Grade 12 Mass Literacy video on Loans Part 2. The aim of this video, Loans Part 2, is to understand how monthly repayments affect the loan, to calculate monthly repayments using factor tables, and to understand how interest rates affect the loan. In Loans Part 1, we looked at monthly repayments of loans, the term of the loan, interest, types and uses of the loans. We also explored the real cost of the loan, where the total amount paid back is equal to the monthly repayment times by the number of months of the loan, and we looked at ways to reduce the cost of the loan. Let's look at monthly repayments. So, monthly repayments on a home loan or a bond are determined by the size of the bond, the interest rate, and the term of the loan, the length of the loan. Banks use this formula to calculate monthly repayments, put a star next to it, we're going to be using this lots, monthly repayment equals the loan amount divided by a thousand times by factor. What is this factor? Let's explore. The factor is a value that depends on the number of years of repayment and the interest rate of the bond. So let's look at our factor table on the right. We have interest rate, starts at 10.5% and it climbs up to 13.5%. Throughout the table, you will notice that the lower the interest rate, for example, 10.5, the factor is 11.05, and the factor increases as the interest rate increases. Here we can see it's 12.98. So, higher the interest rate, the higher the factor, and that means the higher the monthly repayment. Let us now look at the term of the loan, which is the number of years, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's look at 13%. The factor at 30 years is 11.06. As the years get smaller, you'll see that the factor increases to 12.65. So the trend is, the shorter the number of years, the higher the factor, and again, the higher the monthly repayment. We also know that if you increase the monthly repayment, you reduce the cost of the loan. Worked example, let's look at it. Calculate the monthly repayments on a bond of 550,000 taken over 20 years at an interest rate of 14% per annum. So here's our formula, monthly repayment equals loan amount divided by 1,000 times by the factor. Let's find our factor. So interest rate, they said, is 14% per annum. So that means we're working with any of those factors. Now, the number of years, 20 years. So there's my years, 20 years. So we could be working with any of those factors. And where they overlap, that is my factor. So let's calculate. Our loan amount is 550,000 divided by 1,000 times by the factor that we've just found, 12,44. That gives me a monthly repayment of 6,842 Rand per month. Question two, label graphs A, B and C. They're telling us that they're looking at the effect of increasing monthly repayments by 50 Rand and 100 Rand on the length of Kate's home loan. We know that the more money you put in, the higher the monthly repayment, the shorter the term of the loan. So we can see that for graph A, it's the full term of the loan. So if we had to label it, it would be the standard repayment amount. If we look at graph B, you can see that the length of the loan has decreased by five months. So that means she must be putting in a little bit extra per month. And yeah, we can see they've told us 50 Rand. So this would be a repayment plus an extra 50 Rand. Graph C is the shortest repayment loan and she has now put in an extra 100 Rand. So if we are to label it, repayment plus 100 Rand. Let's look at interest rates. So monthly repayments are directly related to current interest rates. If the interest rate increases, our monthly repayments also increase. And the reason for this is we need to ensure that the loan is paid back in the same time period. If your interest rate decreases, 
your monthly repayments will also decrease. Let's look at a worked example. Calculate Kate's monthly saving if her loan of 725,000 Rand, taken over 20 years, was calculated at 14.5% per annum instead of 15% per annum. So let's look at our monthly repayment at 14.5% per annum. Interest rate, 14.5%. So we're working with any of those possibilities. And our years is 20 years. So where do they overlap? That's it, 12,8. Let's do our calculation. Loan amount, 725,000, divided by 1,000, times by the factor of 12,8, gives me a monthly repayment of 9,280 Rand per month. Let's look at our monthly repayment now at 15% per annum, a higher interest rate. There's 15%. Our year still remains 20, so we just continue. And where is that overlap? There it is, 13.17. So that is our new factor. Let's calculate. Times by a factor of 13,17 gives me a monthly repayment of 9,548 Rand and 25 cents. You can see a higher repayment, higher interest rate. So therefore, her saving will now be the difference between the two. And that gives her a monthly saving of 268 Rand and 25 cents per month. Example two, label graphs a, B, and C. They have told us that we're looking at the total amount paid back to the bank for Kate's loan at interest rates of 14%, 14.5%, and 15.5% per annum. We know the higher the interest rate, the higher the amount paid back. So if we have a look at graph A, it has got the highest amount of total amount paid back, highest value. So that means graph A can be labeled as the total paid at the highest interest rate, which we can see is 15,5% per annum. Graph B will then be a lower interest rate because there's a lower amount paid back. So that'll be the total paid back at 14,5% per annum. And lastly, graph C must be the lowest, lowest interest rate because it's the smallest amount paid back. So, total paid at 14% per annum. Now that we've worked through these worked examples, it's time to test your understanding. You need to consolidate by practice, write down the key facts at the start of a question, check that your answer makes sense and that you've answered the question. So, let's do it. Turn to page 105, answer question 4 and 5.2, check your answers, on page A17. Thank you for joining us for this grade 12 mass literacy video. We here at the answer series look forward to guiding you through the rest of your grade 12 mass literacy curriculum. So see you soon. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the answer series your key to exam success.